Hello everyone. In continuation with the inverse Laplace transform, uh, after the proof and the statement of the convolution theorem, we'll be moving, moving ahead with the uh, problem section, which is uh, inverse Laplace transform using the convolution theorem. So according to the function, according to the inverse Laplace transform like f1 and f2, I have, I have divided this into different parts. So this is the first part. Uh, by the end of the session, you'll be able to evaluate the ILT using the convolution theorem. The question is 1 upon s square into s plus 5. So this question would be something like this. So if you'll observe here, this f of s, we can divide it into separate it out into two different parts, like 1 upon uh, 1 upon s sub, uh, 1 upon s squared uh, into 1 upon s plus 5, and therefore according to and we have we are dividing that f1 and f2 in such a way that we could able to find out their inverses so f1 of s that is 1 upon s square what is the inverse inverse is t similarly if you we'll observe f2 is 1 upon s plus 5 so f2 we will have it e to the power minus 5t so we do not have to worry about or otherwise you can say that we have to divide or we, we have to uh, take a product of two function in such a way that we could able to find out their inverses okay and this is what is the formula what we have seen in the last uh, session where we have done laplace inverse of f1 into f2 is equal to 0 to t f1 of u into f2 of t minus u du so every time i would not tell you uh, or not say f1 of s or f2 of s or f1 of t f1 of f2 of t so whenever the variable is same i will just i would just uh, prefer to say f1 f2 or uh, capital F1, capital F2 and so on. So this is the formula. So accordingly, F1 is T. So T has been replaced as U because it's a function of U. And F2 has been, uh, F2 is here in the formula. It's a function of T minus U. So every T here would be replaced as T minus U. So it is E to the power minus 5 T minus U du. And therefore it is U into E to the power minus 5 T plus 5 U. So if you'll observe here, U is the variable of this integration. So in that case, so e to the power, this 5t would be a constant if you observe. Because t is not a variable, u is a variable. And therefore, e to the power minus 5t would come out. It is 0 to t, u, e to the power 5u, du. Which is now we have to make use of LIATE rule. And according to that, we have to go ahead with this. So this is the first function. Second function, exponential function is always at the end. So exponential function... This is algebraic u e to the power of 5u. So a is e is coming after a and therefore this is first, this is the second function. So e to the power minus 5u, this is first function, second function, first function as it is in the first step plus e into e to the power of 5u upon 5 which is nothing but the integration of the second function. This is what is the second function, integration of the second minus. Now this first and second function get discarded over here. This is the first and this is the second of first function minus first function differentiation of the first is u differentiation of u is 1 and now this is the first this is the second second function is here e to the power 5u upon 5 integration of this function would give me e to the power 5u upon 25 now this becomes second so this first and second would go from here and the integration limit is from 0 to 2 and that is why i'm just asking i'm, I'm saying i'm saying it as a musical chair method or otherwise you can say uh, say it as a which is a nothing but the uh, integration by parts i'm saying it only because this is one and two the role of one and two every, is changing every time and that is the reason i'm just saying it as it's zero to t so upper limit e to the power 5t upper limit is every u would be replaced as t in the upper upper limit minus low in the lower limit every u would be changed shifted as or you can say the exchange as uh, zero and therefore this is the upper limit minus the lower limit then after adjustments everything we will get this as the answer just you pause over here just pause over here and try to get the upper limit try to put the upper limit minus the lower limit then try to get this as the final answer okay fine next is find the inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s minus to the power 4 s plus 3 again as i have told you this is we are choosing the function f1 and f2 in such a way that it is easy for us to get the inverses of those particular functions so f1 is 1 upon s minus to the power 4 therefore f1 small f1 that is the inverse of that is e to the power 2t into t cube upon 6 and f2 is f2 is 
e to the power minus 3t so by the by this time if you if you are following the all the sessions serially so by this time it is very important for you all to understand and you all to just find out the inverses like this like this in one step it is very important to get the inverses of this function and these are very simple functions as well so again this is the formula so an l plus inverse of f of s is integration 0 to t e to the power 2u u cube upon 6 into e to the power minus 3 t minus u du because we are this t has been replaced as u and the another t has been replaced as t minus u therefore again e to the power minus 3 t by 6 is nothing but a constant because u is the variable and therefore this t is nothing but a constant so that will come out of the integration sign and therefore u cube e to the power 5 u du would give us the musical chair that is the liat according to the liat as we have done it in the previous example the same way first function second function first, first function as it is integration of the second now this will get discarded the minus the differentiation of the first function that is u cube that is 3 u square this becomes the first function the second this this is the second function e to the power 5 u upon 5 from the previous step the integration of that that would give give us e to the power 5 u upon 25 which is now second function again first function plus because if you observe this is a plus here minus plus here right and therefore the 3 u square the differentiation of 3 u square is 6 times u this becomes the first function this is getting discarded from here this is the second function from the previous e to the power 5 u upon 25 the integration of that would give us e to the power 5 u upon 125 so this is getting discarded this is the second function now now this is the first function minus 6 u differentiation of this 6 u is 6 this becomes the first first is getting discarded then again going to the next this is the second function going to the next step the differentiate sorry integration of this function is e to the power 5 u upon 125 into 5 would give us 625 which is the second function this is getting discarded and going to the next step it would be plus and this is the first function differentiation of first function which is a 6 differentiation of 6 would give us 0 forget about this this is not a problem because anything into 0 would give us 0 and therefore then all further terms would be 0 and that is the reason I have not written it here fine and then the upper limit and the lower limit every t has been replaced uh, every u has been replaced as t minus every u would be replaced as 0 would give us this because if you observe we have got u here u is also here u is present here also so 1 2 3 first 3 terms would be 0 because of for the lower terms and then it is plus because plus minus plus minus and this is minus times so it, it would be it would it is a minus over here one more minus will give us 6 upon 625 and therefore just by adjusting the terms you would get this as the answer so i have divided the parts based on these functions the combination of these functions okay so you would come you would come to know uh, based on this combinations and the approach i have given thus three different parts yeah this is the self observation slide three questions along with the three answers if at all any doubt please put me the comment and the the comment section so that i could address those thank you happy learning